So today we're going to talk about finding the perimeter. As the perimeter is the total distance around the outside of a two-dimensional shape. So that's, you're going to find the, the perimeter, which is the outside of a shape, right? And then it says you calculate it by adding all the sides together. So you're going to calculate the width plus the length plus the width plus the length. And just like on this triangle here, you're going to calculate this, this side of the triangle, this side of the triangle, and then this side of the triangle. And that's what a perimeter is. So you're just finding what's the outside. And then it says right here, see, the perimeter is the 12 centimeters, which is the width, plus 5 centimeters, which is the length, and then you do it again, 12 plus 5. So then it's 12 centimeters plus 5 plus 12 plus 5, and then you get your total answer of 34. So, and another a shortcut to, if you don't want to add them, you can multiply them. Because we know that um, this side of, of the rectangle is the same as the, this length of the rectangle. So you're going to do 5 times 2, because we have 2 of them, right? And then we have 12 times 2, because there's also 2. And then you would just add whatever you get. For example, on that one, it said that the rectangle was 5 centimeters, 12 centimeters, 5 centimeters, and again, 12 centimeters. So if we want to find the perimeter, how would we find the perimeter? You add, you add what? You add all the sides together, mm -hmm. right? So what is this side? Five centimeters. Five centimeters, and this is the length, right? So we do five plus five, which this is another, the, the, the other side of the length, right? Plus 12, and what do we call this side? The width. The width, uh-huh, correct. So we do 12, and then this other side, right? So we do 12. And what do you get when you add it together? 34 what? Don't forget your centimeters. Your units? 34 centimeters, right. And then this is another way that you can find the perimeter. So you would multiply 5 times 2, because remember, there's two sides that are 5, right? So what's 5 times 2? 10. 10, uh-huh. And then what's 12 times 2? 20. 24, okay. So if we add this, how much is it going to give us? 34. 34. It's another way of checking it. It's another way of checking it, correct. So then this is your perimeter, right? So either you can add them together, you can add up the or sides. Or multiply them. Or you can multiply them, right? answer. Exactly. So then what did we call this side? The length. The length. And this the side? Width. The width. So now we're going to play a little game, and it's going to help, but, and we're going to find the, per, the perimeter, okay? Well, let's see. So if we have, what it says right here, what is the perimeter of this shape? So if we already have the measurements, we already have this 5 centimeters plus 5 more centimeters plus 30 plus 30. So what does that give us if we're going to find the perimeter? 70? Okay. So let's type 70 and let's check our answer. Good job. Now let's try this one. Okay. And again, it says that the perimeter, what is the perimeter of the shape? The unit of measurement is already given to you. So we know the unit of measurement. So how much does this, how much does this? 12. And then if this is 10, this side will be 10. Okay. We draw this shape and then put in the numbers and then we'll, we'll see what we get. Okay. 44 what? Centimeters. 44 centimeters. Well done. So can you tell me in your own words what is a perimeter? Uh-huh. And then 
then when you get all the numbers that the numbers that were missing, you could add all those numbers to figure it out. How much paint you need to exactly. paint this room. Right, so you add up all the sides to get the perimeter.